What's happening, you guys? It's me, Kiki Solano, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. How much do we know about BYU basketball head coach Mark Pope? BYU baseball is dominating the WCC awards. And how many days till we play Utah? Let's go. All right. I really want to start off the show with this video that's been floating around of BYU basketball's head coach, Mark Pope. I'm going to get a scholarship to King's College. I probably shouldn't brag, but dad got amazed and astonished. The problem is I got a lot of brains, but no polish. Mark Pope is rapping, and I love it. He's only been here for a little over a month. We haven't seen him on the court as the head coach yet, but here's what we know about him so far. Obviously, he can rap. He does struggle with pitching, though. But he put the work in. Uh, we just spent the last several months training for this pitch. I can respect him for that. Plus, he had a great career in the NBA. I played for the Indiana Pacers till Larry Bird fired me. Then I played for the Milwaukee Bucks till George Carl fired me. Then I played for the New York Knicks till Don Chaney fired me. And I played for the Denver Nuggets till George Carl fired me again. George, I'll never forgive you. He was on the last Bucks team to make it to the Eastern Conference Finals in 2001. He had Sam Cassell and Glenn Robinson and Ray Allen. And then they just needed one other guy on that roster to kind of run around and not do anything. And that's why it was the perfect team for me. He's played with some NBA legends and it's helped him master the perfect shot. There's a secret to making shots. The problem is I have no idea what that secret is. He's a pretty stylish guy. <laughs> I'm gonna wear these around all day, man. This is like the you, new you thing. Can. But maybe the most important thing we know is he has the passion that we want and need in a head coach. We will be relentless every minute, every day, 24 seven, chasing excellence. Ooh, I love that. You know what else I love? A bunch of awards. The Batcats are dominating the WCC awards. I mean, the Kooks have... Not six, not seven. Not eight, but nine awards. Okay, here we go. Brock Hale was named the WCC Player of the Year. This season, he hit 340 with 11 home runs and 44 RBI. He was also named to the all WCC first team along with Jackson Clough. Mitch McIntyre and Easton Walker were named to the second team. Noah Hill and Brian Sue earned honorable mentions. Reed McLaughlin was named to the all WCC freshman team. And to top it all off, coach Mike Littlewood was named WCC coach of the year after leading the Cougars to a 36 and 15 record. Wow, that is a lot. Way to go, guys. If you didn't know that yesterday marked 100 days till we faced Utah, where have you been? I couldn't go on social media without seeing all the 100 day pictures. They were everywhere. And I mean everywhere. They were really cool pictures. I mean, seriously, awesome. But I haven't seen any out for today. Where's the day 99 picture? I guess they didn't make any, but we did. <laughs> to celebrate 99 days till we play the Utes, let's go find the number 99 in BYU sports history. Seriously though, let's go. <laughs> he played. No, they're not. 1999, former BYU All-American John Tate is drafted in the first round of the NFL Draft to Kansas City. 99, I found one, come here. Former Coug Brett Kiesel was number 99 when he played for the Pittsburgh Steelers. 1999, BYU opens up the season with a win over Washington. That's what we like. Jason Buck, number 99 for BYU. And then he went on and won a Super Bowl ring, so. And to wrap up, let's get a big play by number 99. Under pressure, the pocket collapses, and there's the sack. Sack, 
Double digits, baby. Let's go. Thanks for hanging out with me on BYUSN right now. Go and follow us. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.